So good morning. This morning, I'm not going to turn it around and show what I look like this morning because this is the 4th of July and it's the day after the show. But uh, I thought I would do a video here because I am cleaning out my show bag and that's my empty show bag when it's full. <laughs> it could be very full. So if you want to know a few things that you should have ringside <clears throat> in your show bag, probably not as Furminator, that's just too heavy. Uh, obviously you need an assortment of whatever dog breed you're breeding, you need an assortment of collars. And since I show with other people in the same breed, I mark my collars, because I do let people use my stuff, but then I can always identify it. That's just a little roll of gold, a little tiny roll of gold duct tape. So what do I have in here? So they're different, these are different bags. So just fill this, fill this one up. So in a small medical bag, because this stuff you have to throw out if it's in the car and it gets too hot, right? So this is a, <clears throat> I just packed this. <laughs> One of the most important things you can have ringside is <clears throat> heel tape. I bought this and my little girl said, no, that's boob tape. I'm like, no, that's when your heels are bleeding from your new shoes, heel tape. And then you also need your wet wipes to clean your heels so that your tape. And you need a little pair of scissors. So this is last weekend not this weekend this past, when i was in tunica someone next to me cut their finger and they couldn't find a band-aid so carry some band-aids now my really good heel band-aids i just i bought some at the dollar store and they were worthless but there's some really nice good ones and i just bought them and i didn't get them in here <clears throat> carry antihistamine I don't do that anymore, but I always like to have something with me for my little girls. This is just ibuprofen. This is a interesting thing. If you feel the flu coming on, this is a homeopathic thing. Don't ask me how it works, but it absolutely works when you're traveling and in a hotel. Another thing would be good to have in here in your medical bag would be zinc lozenges. How many of you had a hangnail right as you're going into the ring? Cut off a little piece of a nice file you had a little dog your little girls show up to help you and their hair is in the way i insist the girls tie their hair back um this is probably metro diazinol what's in here and prednisone now, t i always recommend that you label everything yeah <laughs> pain this is a like remedil it's called carprofen <clears throat> I've done this so long I can identify my pills, but you should really, where did my other go? So this is one thing I have in a show bag, ringside. You have this in your bag, ringside, okay? I had some Neosporin in that, and this bag has gotten so hot. Look, it's just totally melted out. Is that crazy? So this is another bag, and some of these do repeat. This is prednisone. So four years ago in January, I was in Corpus Christi at that dog show and I got bed bug bites, which I think that's the last time I've had bed bugs. And I was about to go on a cruise and they bit me on my neck all down to my collarbone <clears throat> and I started some prednisone. So sometimes if a dog gets stung or you never know, uh, it's not, a, I don't use prednisone a lot, but and this is just some vitamin R. This is metrodiazinol. If your dog stresses out and he's blowing diarrhea, a little metro can absolutely. This is your good gut antibiotic, also called flagell. I always carry a little bit of uh, Advantage. So I've seen I've carried this so long about worn it out. I probably should use this this month and put this fresh back in there. Now, this is a label, this is actually Otamax in a, just a dispenser. And Otamax is a very expensive liquid steroidal cream. So if you get a cut, 
Um, I love this stuff. It's Rescue Remedy. Sometimes I can get up and upset. Not, not really upset, but just before I go into the ring, if I'm feeling a lot of pressure, I love the way this dispenses in a dog that's upset. You can also give them a little, this is the essence of flowers. I love this stuff. Rescue Remedy. It is a natural stress relief. They make this in gummies too, but I like the spray. Just spray it on their gums or inside their ears even. It's more effective on their gums. What else have I got in here? So sometimes I'll get a dog that's very, very difficult to dremel their nails that's not my dog, and this is an actual sedation. And uh, just a little tiny flake off that will cause them to act like they drank a six pack or a 12 pack of beer. They're just like, oh, okay, I don't care, dremel my nails. <clears throat> that's some real pain medication there. So you've signed up, you've spent all this money, you drove all this way and your dog starts limping. Oh, here girls, have a little, your lips, when you get stressed, your lips can get dry and I hate dry lips. So I just, you know, have this in my show bag. Always, always, always have poop bags ringside. So if somebody poops in the ring, always have wet wipes and typically I have a small roll of paper towel in there. So some, and paper towel is typically always at the, where the judge is too. I can't stand hang nails. Of course, I don't really get them now that I get my nails done, but still. In this bag, that's almost, this is a prescription eye salve, but it's almost, I've used, I have used it to the end. So what to have ringside. So I clip all of these with this. You see, you can get those clipped up. Now for oil, I use shea butter. You have to rub it in and melt it in or it actually can look white, but I like their noses and their face oil. Now this bag is something a little different with the Blomastiff. That's a piece of chalk. You can't see that in there, but that's a black piece of chalk. And you can't use this if you have on a white dress. Mm, looky here, another thing of rescue remedy. Another fingernail clippers. This is makeup. So if you have a dog that's had an ACL repair or something, you want to cover up that scar. Oh, and sometimes you, they just have a boo-boo or they have rough elbows on your big males. Use a little makeup. This is just natural skin color makeup. This is more shea butter. You need the, your shea butter. Even oil will come out and get all over everything I've found and your shea butter doesn't. Not that shape. This is Origil. So if you have a dog limping because they've got a cut on their foot, this will numb it. This is numbs it. And something else that popped out. Hairspray. <laughs> yes. This something else is in this bag is a squeaky mouse. I should make that smell like a mouse. This is for this, if you want to just put a darken up their face a little bit. I rarely use that. And then I have a black, oh here it is. This is some black Vaseline. But uh, please understand, if you dip into this, you're gonna get it on your nails and it's very hard to come to get off. So if you're gonna use this, I like to use it the night before <clears throat> and it kind of stains their nose and their mask. Which I don't have a problem with having a black mask, but some people do. And it just makes them think about a show horse, how they oil their faces. Makes them more shiny. And then I did not have my handy dandy put in a Ziploc bag here to put your ribbons in so they don't get dirty. See how that'll they go in there? And then they don't get bent and dirty. These kind of got bent and dirty, but doesn't matter. <coughs> <clears throat> that's a photographer I like to carry some cards and I've carried these cards these are my old cards till they're wrinkled and crinkled so um, I sleep with earplugs so you can use that earplug they come in a little plastic container to put your cards in and keep your cards clean see I didn't take my own advice <clears throat> these things are great but you need to oh you see there's some leftover cheese bait <clears throat> These are, uh, this is a horse product. Oh, that's dog slobber. The dogs have been out this morning. 
if if you want to clean up your dog's whiskers this is very sharp and it cleans all those whiskers off there and what else have I got in here I always have a comb I can't comb my hair once I always have a comb ringside this is probably Listerine it Listerine and water in here and I don't know what that was but it's almost gone oh I know that's numbs it that's some numbs it stuff don't carry your Furminator ringside your dog should already be groomed and sometimes I use this, but certainly not every time, although the professional handlers do. This is a silicone product. It's just, if they're super clean and really nice, and you spray this, of course this does cause dirt to stick to them, but this show sheen in the horse world is what this is. So there you have it. So when you come home from the show, you know, dump your bag completely out and Look what you have, and oh, and a pin. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say that. And I need to get a pin in every bag. When you pick up your numbers and someone won't let you touch their pin, you need a good pen. I usually carry a marker so you can write the name of the dog on back of the number. One time I got it mixed up and actually done it twice. And that was 15 years ago. So when you pick up your numbers to get in the ring, always, always, always write the dog's name on the back of each and every number. I don't care how big a hurry you're in. <clears throat> write the dog's name on the back of just, you know, their call name. We had um, Willow and Honey and um, Tuffy with us. So just their call name, just something. So that's what I carry. And for your breed, you may need to carry something else. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and I don't know if you saw this, safety pins. I learned the, this the hard way. I bought this little black dress at a thrift store, and the the uh, uh, stitching in it was just dry rotted, and I took a step, and it split clean to my behind. I mean, it was, woo. so I, here's some safety pins. And if it not you, somebody else, right, might need safety pins. This is this product. This goes here, and I'm going to put these in some little bitty Ziploc bags to keep everything off of them. But carry safety pins with you in every bag. So if your girls are coming out the top of your dress, you can cover them up and contain them. So these are my bags ringside. See, I need a new thing of... And I always call carry wash rags, too. I carry about six... Half a dozen washcloth, dry washcloths too. So this is this Monday morning getting my bags back like I want them because when I go to a show, I do not have time to do this. So this is already done. I'm headed to the show and I grab my show bag and all of this is in there like it's supposed to be.